When some tourists at Mount Elgon National Park saw elephants grouping together to enter a cave, they felt the need to ask the rangers about it. And when they followed them to find out what they were doing inside, they discovered something incredible. Mount Elgon National Park is a protected area located on the border between Uganda and Kenya in eastern Africa. It gets its name from the extinct volcano named Mount Elgon that is considered to be the eighth highest mountain in Africa. This ancient volcano has been inactive for a long time and is estimated to be over 24 million years old. This mountain is quite unique thanks to its shape. It spans across a very wide base, gently sloping up to a peak sitting at 4,321 meters above sea level. But the vast volcano encompasses deep valleys, waterfalls, hot springs, rugged cliffs, and even caves that together make it a sight to behold and explore. The natural diversity it encourages is truly amazing. Its diverse habitats include mountain forest, moorland, and open savanna. This variety allows for several brilliant animal species to inhabit the surrounding areas, such as monkeys, buffalo, dakers, bushbuck, and even elephants. Besides its beautiful ecosystem that it has to offer tourists, the National Park also has a range of activities for its patrons, such as hikes, birdwatching, and safaris. Where there is a national park, there are also park rangers. These brave people make their lives purpose to get to know the land they work on and the animals that live there. Their goal is peaceful conservation and educating people on the land and animals. When Mpo was studying conservation at university, he already knew he wanted to work in the Mount Elgon National Park. He had come from a small community in Kenya where he had grown up with the bush as his backyard. Working with animals and being immersed in nature came naturally to him, so going into conservation only made sense. Upon his graduation, he joined the rangers at Mount Elgon Park and began to learn the land at hand. When he was on shift, he would take tourists from around the world on guided hikes and drives. He loved being able to share his home with strangers. Very often, these people came from countries that had nothing similar to this. He made friends with some of the tourists and even kept in touch. When he wasn't working, he would spend his free time scouting the land and learning the habits of the animals that lived there. The more he knew about them, the better, especially when foreigners would be ready to ask him a thousand questions. He got to know the residing herds of elephants and the migratory buffalo and greeted them like old friends whenever they were near. He and the other rangers would also frequent the hiking trails in an effort to keep the animals used to people's presence as some hikes would take visitors very close to their dens and watering holes. Among these hikes, there was one path that would take people up to the side of the mountain where they could clearly see the entrance to the Kitum Cave. This cave is located at the lowest slopes of the volcano and stretches over 200 meters in length by 60 meters in width, which makes it one of the largest caves in Eastern Africa. It is believed that it was formed millions of years ago when the volcano was still active. Lava would have flown underground, creating tubes and tunnels that were later left as cave formations. The rangers were well aware of the cave being a high tourist attraction zone. They would often take people there to see the entrance and its impressive nature, but they were hesitant in taking them inside because of the animal traffic. It was quite common to see a range of animals roaming in and out of the cave, usually buffalo and buck. That is, until one day whilst Mpo was on a hike. One of the tourists asked him about the elephants. Confused, Mpo wondered whether the tourist had seen correctly. He grabbed his binoculars and looked towards the entrance of the cave. Sure enough, there was a massive group of elephants making their way into the cave. This was a first for anyone to notice. Mpo and the other rangers had never witnessed the elephants of the area approaching the cave, so upon returning back to base, he brought up the news with his colleagues. At first, they doubted what Mpo had seen, but he swore that it had happened just as he said. So the next day, he and the other rangers went and had a look together to see if they could spot the elephants too. It took a few hours before the elephants emerged from the brush in a group formation, but sure enough, they started heading towards the entrance of the Kitum cave. They were very curious as to what they were doing. It wasn't common to see elephants moving in such tight formations, nor was it normal for them to disappear into the cave like that. The gentle giants didn't emerge from the cave until dark. By then, the rangers were desperate to know what the elephants were up to. However, they knew they had to be careful. The cave was a dead end, so they just couldn't corner the elephants whilst they were in there. They had to come up with a plan to catch them in the middle of whatever activity they were performing inside without spooking them. 
So the rangers went back to camp and spoke more about it. They came to the realization that in order to be in the cave at the same time as the elephants, they would have to follow them in when they entered. Naturally, this posed its own risks, but most of the elephants in the area were used to their presence by now, so they hoped that by entering the cave with them, they would be less inclined to get a fright and charge. Being in a closed space with any big wild animal posed its own risks for sure. So the rangers geared up to join the elephants the next day. They went and waited for the formation to arrive. Then they made their presence known and hung back, pretending to be busy talking to each other. As the elephants made their way into the cave, the rangers followed suit. They were very slow and respectful behind the herd, as they really didn't want to spook or intimidate the elephants in any way. After all, they wanted to see for themselves what they were up to. The giant creatures walked at a slow pace that only built up the anticipation the rangers were feeling. The cave was growing increasingly darker, and with that, the rangers' curiosity grew as well. What on earth could the elephants be doing in here? They walked on until eventually the herd began to slow down. The reason, though, wasn't immediately clear. They seemed to hover a little until a loud crack and scraping sound suddenly echoed along the cave. The rangers couldn't help but feel alarmed. But then the elephants closest to them began to do something quite interesting. They produced the same noise. They had turned to the walls of the cave and began scraping and chipping off pieces of them. The cave rang out with the sounds of this strange movement happening over and over at the hands, or rather the trunks and tusks, of the elephants. Confused, the rangers slowly made their way to the back of the cave and turned their torches on. What they discovered was simply incredible. The cave walls shimmered with a gloss that could only indicate one thing. There were massive salt deposits sitting along the wall's surface. Unlike other animals, the elephants weren't licking the salt off the walls, but rather breaking pieces off. They were systematically using their tusks and feet to chip off pieces of the wall of salt, and then they would eat them eagerly. It was a sight to behold. What the rangers were witnessing firsthand was in fact the elephants getting their daily salt intake. Like most living creatures, elephants require a certain amount of salt in their diets, but the African plains simply don't offer enough hence the need for them to find salt deposits wherever they can. Obviously, the elephants had followed the other animals in at some point and discovered the salt. Since then, the cave had become the local hangout for all the elephants in the area. The rangers were over the moon at their discovery, and Mpo was particularly happy that he could now tell his tourists all about it. The elephants will continue to visit the cave as long as there's salt on its walls, and in the meantime, the rangers will do everything in their power to make sure no one disturbs them while they follow their healthy diet. What an incredible story. Would you have the courage to follow the elephants? What did you think they were going to find? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.